Weirdo Corey, and I'm sitting here with Chad Zilla, and uh, we got this uh, bottle of bourbon from Cooperstown that we're going to be drinking tonight. Uh, Jim uh, brought it back for us. So on, good we drank it twice. So good we drank it twice, that's right. We had it on the show last week. Uh, we're going to uh, enjoy it again tonight. Jim was up at the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame and, uh, and brought this bottle back for us to give a shot. Uh, so we're going to be drinking it through the show tonight and giving our review at the end. Uh, new, uh, new to the show here, we're going to start rating these bourbons that we've uh, been drinking. Uh, so if you stick around all the way to the end, then you'll uh, get to see our score on it. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about this bourbon here. Let's, uh, let's do our last sip and come up with our, uh, our individual ratings. This right? will not be our last sip. Well, last, <laughs> last sip on camera. Our uh, individual ratings, mm. correct? You're going to give yours, I'll give mine? Yeah. Because right, coming up with the uh, consensus would be difficult on some bottles. So this one is, I would say it's a very smooth drinker. Uh, it doesn't have a real strong bite to it. Do you agree with me on that part? No, you finish. Okay. Um, I honestly, I'm going to bump the rating a little bit just based off of the bottle because it's such a beautiful bottle. Like this is one that even after you finish it, you could use that. Give two ratings in. Give your actual. So like it's, it's such a, it's, it's shaped like a baseball on a little stand there. And it's one that you could easily use as a uh, decanter. Like as a, a home. baseball? Oh, no, oh. not as a baseball. <laughs> no, I would refill that. Yeah, refill yeah. it with, uh, you know. Because you're never going to throw that away. No, never. refill it with, like, your daily drinker, and that way you can always have that on display. Um, <clears throat> out of 10. I'll go seven one. Okay, that's mine. Okay, my turn. That's your turn. Okay. <laughs> I think putting on display mm -hmm. is an accurate statement, but refilling it with your daily drinker does this justice to the actual alcohol inside of it. Okay. So, like, a daily drinker for me is, like, larceny or something that, like, I'm not going to spend a whole shitload of money on, but it does taste good and gives me that bite that I like. Right. So, I think um, I do like this bourbon, mm -hmm. and which for you probably sounds weird because I don't like vanilla-y yeah. flavor bourbons. I like that bite, but this has the perfect balance for me between bite, like, peppery bite, and, like, the thing that makes me cough when I take my first sip. Uh-huh. And, um, and that vanilla caramely taste, which I don't normally like. So in my opinion, this is probably the perfect Beardo drink because I know you like the vanilla caramely stuff mm -hmm. and I like the, the bite. Right. So where you not, you might not like that bite in it. I like the bite in it and you know what I mean? Vice versa. So I think this is probably something that we could drink together a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it hits a lot of preferences and notes on it. It's really good. It's really good. It's not my favorite, right? But it's really good. Like I, we drank it two, you know, two weeks in a row now. Mm -hmm. This is probably my third glass today. I do enjoy it. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Ooh, that is higher than I was expecting. I really like it. Wow. I enjoy it. Cooperstown Distillery. You guys nailed it. Very good. Damn. Very good because you can because they can capture anybody. They can be like, okay, you like that vanilla caramel, like yeah, Angel's yeah. Envy type stuff or Buffalo Trace type stuff. Bam, there it is. Okay, you like that that Eagle Rare or Cask Strength mm -hmm. um, Old Ezra type bite. There it is. It's there, but you're not gonna get a ten from either one of them. No, no, because it's more middle of the road, like you were saying. Yes, yes, middle right. of the road. Yep, right. But it's really good. You surprised me there. I didn't. I didn't think you were going that high on it. Yeah, my first sip, my very first sip was like a six. Yeah, I was like, eh. There's no way, like anyone ranking bourbon off a of first sip, you can't. You, there's no way. You cannot. You, you got to let it live a little bit. You gotta. You gotta sip. You know. You gotta go through at least a glass before you can figure out yeah. where you would really rate it. Exactly. Yeah. True. Because you never know what's in your mouth that day. Like, like, what did you eat? Sure. Sure. You know what I mean? did yeah. you eat last? No, it's you know, a fucking. Hot pepper sandwich, like, yeah, <laughs> doesn't taste right, dude. Rinse your mouth out. Yeah. All right. 
Nice bottle. Thank you again, Jim. Good stuff, Jim. Thank you very much. I'm I'm really glad that this is our first, our first one. Yeah, me too. It, it's, it's good. It's a nice way to start the series here. We're gonna be ranking everything that we drank uh, from here on out. Um, yeah, it was this was cool. The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball. The Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champions.